Hi guys, it's Matt. Welcome back to a new YouTube video. Uh, this week I wanted to take a trip down memory lane and do something really, really special and go and see Emporio's first photos, videos, and his ad. Now this all happened about 10 to 11 months ago. In December, I found Emporio uh, through a dealer in Spain. Uh, she's called Fantastic PRE Horses. I highly recommend her for anybody that is looking to purchase a horse. Um, but since um, having uh, talked to her, I saw almost, I would say, hundreds of horses that were sent to me. Um, until finally I came across the ad for Emporio. Now, I want to show you guys uh, everything that has to do with the beginning. So let's get into the video. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull up his actual ad uh, because I think it's quite interesting uh, what they wrote about him at the beginning and now I can actually verify if everything was true or not because obviously I've owned them. So he was advertised to me as a PRE which means Pura Raza Española which is uh, obviously what he is. Uh, he, they said he's three and a half years old from 2015, that is correct, on his passport it also says that. Uh, he's a stallion from Cardenas, um, which is a very uh, popular and well-known uh, stud. For, uh, it's the same stud as Fuego, uh, and that is very, very true. Uh, really good temperament, yes, and, ex and extremely quiet, also very true. Awesome, expressive movement, yes. <laughs> very Baroque model type, easy going forward. So what Baroque means, it, it means like um, a heavier set build. So for the breed of the PREs, uh, Baroque means like a big neck and, uh, and a big body, muscly, like a bit of a tank. And I definitely would say that Emporio counts as that. <laughs> so I did blur out the price because I don't like sharing too much other information, but I actually think Emporio was really reasonably priced. I wasn't looking to spend uh, that much money because I do think you can find very good horses that don't have to cost a fortune. Um, but I do think for what he's what he is and for what he has given me, he was definitely worth the price. Now, let's get into the video. Now, this video is the first video I saw of Emporio, and this is the video that made me think, I'm flying to Spain, I'm gonna go look at this horse. And until then, I hadn't seen any video or any horses that made me feel like that. So I want, I'm want i gonna talk you guys through what I actually uh, saw in the, the first time and what I liked, because from the video, you guys will see that it's very difficult to see through the potential. But I'm gonna leave that up to you uh, to decide. So let's start the video. Oh yeah, I forgot. So he was actually called Mac uh, when I bought him. He uh, and his show name is Capuleto Mac. So his stable name was Mac. Oh my god, he's changed so much. Now this, the video of him in the arena. He, I thought when I first saw this video, I was like, oh my god, this horse is so beautiful. He looks huge, and the movement and. It's still like, you know how sometimes when uh, horses are running, some of them really look out of control, like they look so uh, crazy, like they're gonna like run through a fence. Uh, what I really liked about Emporio, and you can see it here, he's still very respectful, so when he comes close to people, he slows down, um, and he's more looking to stand still, if anything. Okay, yeah, so this is the next portion of the video, it's kind of like an evaluation of the body to show you the whole horse. I can't believe how much he's changed already, like his, his, his mane is so much more long now. Uh, his coat has definitely lightened a little bit. His feet are a lot better because they were very, very small to begin with. Oh my god. It's so strange to see this again. Ah, it's so pretty. His neck was always huge, but it's definitely gotten bigger. But his neck was really always huge. Oh yeah, and something they did is that they shaved the sides of his tail. And that's still growing out now. But uh, and he still has a bit of a full tail here. You can see that it's not really even yet. It's so crazy how much a horse can change in such such little time. Nah, so pretty. His head is definitely lighted now. Like his head is uh, his head is going more towards the white side. And yeah, it's exactly like the shoulder. He's got clean legs. He's got no blemishes. Ah, uh, hey buddy. Nah, so sweet. He gives me some, oh god, here we go. Okay, here's where the riding begins. So when I first saw this, I was thinking, okay, why is somebody? Uh, doing sitting trot on a th three and a half year old, which I think is not good for the back. Also, the saddle fits really badly. You can see they've got a huge foam pad underneath it that fills in the space. So, yeah, that was a bit interesting. Also, for a very young horse to be ridden in a field like this, it's not a problem. But having ridden on that field, I can tell you it's downhill and it's full of rocks. So, 
it's difficult, but already seeing him like this, I straight away said to myself, wow, what an amazing horse. He's got great knee action, he looks forward. Um, the hind legs are okay for the breed. Um, I definitely saw a lot worse, but overall, the picture he gave me was this, was this big, beautiful horse. Um, you can see he's pulling a little bit. He's still young and he's still quite green, and that's something that I really need to take into consideration when looking at this, but you can see there, that moment before the canter, the trot was really nice forward and tracking up. Now the canter I was very confused about because here he looks super deep in the contact um, and it also looks almost a little bit downhill which is really opposite to how Emporio is now, Emporio is super uphill. But I was happy with the engagement of the hind leg here, it was going underneath enough. I mean some of the some of the Pierre horses really their hind leg is almost like hops and it's stuck and it can't, can't really come underneath, the, underneath themselves. Oh good. Bit of resistance here. Now I will say this, the rider was not the best, uh, but he had all the good intentions. He didn't maybe have the knowledge um, and understanding to be the best he could be, but I think for what he knew, he really tried his hardest um, with Emporio. And he wasn't, from when I saw him, he wasn't really being aggressive towards him. He was being nice. But you can see here, the walk was absolutely terrible. He would trip over his own hind legs. He couldn't. He couldn't over track at all. Look at how far those hind legs are from the front. So he should be stepping well over the footprint of the of the front legs, but he but he's not. He's, he was too tense and too stiff for any of that. And you can see he's a little bit, well, he's hollow in the back and he's also sucking back in the contact. He's not nicely going around. He's sucking back, which was a bit of a problem in the beginning because if you were to give the reins, he wouldn't follow and stretch down. He would just stay a bit stuck like that. And I think that also was because he would, he had a bit of tension in there as well. But that still to me looks beautiful. Like I see potential. When I see this video, I see that uh, the basics of the horses are there. Uh, I see that he's got good movement. He's got a good head. He's just being ridden in a field. And I mean, nothing's really going wrong. And what I liked about this video is that they kept the ugly bits in it too. Like, you know there's a problem if you look at a for sale video of a horse and it's cut every like five seconds. That means there's not maybe much consistency. It's not always like that, but it'll tell you there's not much consistency. And here it's just a straight video, no cutting of two or three minutes of, uh, of riding. Now the transitions, are, as you can see, are still quite rough. He's finding it difficult to stay round within the transitions, which is something he did have a problem at the beginning. Now we're back at this walk and the walk, I was really concerned about the walk actually because I didn't want to buy a PRE that was going to struggle in the walk because I do want to compete and I knew I would be judged heavily on that. Um, and that was a bit of a gamble on my side. I didn't know if the walk would come through better or not. But I love the trot. The, the whole frame looks really nice and it already looks in a way like quite a mature horse, the frame he's in. And the balance he's able to show in these fields. I mean, it's it's very difficult to ride a horse in these kind of circumstances. Okay, so that concludes uh, the for sale video. Now, after seeing this, I really thought, okay, wow, what an amazing horse. I really would like to see how he feels, if we connect when I see him, and if he really uh, turns out to be what I've seen in the video, because you can never really trust the video. Um, but for me, it was really about seeing through all the little problems, and I've never worked with a stallion or a young horse like this before, so it was a big jump for me to go and do something like this. I don't have a lot of experience. I'm an amateur rider, so I do this for fun and as a, as a, as a sport. Um, so for me, he, he take the boxes that for myself, I really liked, so he was, he looked expressive, he looked cool-headed, um, he had a nice temperament, he had a nice look about him, and the overall feeling is kind of what I was in tune with and what I liked as well. And so having taken those things into consideration, I decided to fly out, and I'm so glad I did because I found the most amazing horse in the world. <laughs> I'm curious what you guys think though, let me know down in the comments below, did you um, Expect Emporio to look like this at the beginning. Would you have bought him if you had seen him like this? What were some of your concerns? Because definitely the walk and the character were some of my concerns. Um, but yeah, I, thank you guys for coming down memory lane with me today. Uh, I want to do more videos like this where I look back and I see the progression of things. So maybe I can do a video showing the uh, Emporio's transformation so far of him going from a three and a half year old to a four and a half year old and how much he's changed because he's a completely different horse right now. So if you guys would like to see that, let me know. Uh, but until then, I will catch you guys on now. But for now, I will catch you guys on next week's video. Okay, bye-bye.